what's going on guys today is day eight of our threat hunt episode and trust me guys this is real real big why okay so let me show you directly so now in today's episode i have divided this particular episode in another playlist so where we will be discussing threat hunt using jupyter notebook yes guys so and what the hell this gonna do all about so this particular episode like today's episode has like 10 other different parts where we are dividing this particular series in you can say that uh, there are another 10 parts and i have given it another playlist and you can come to this particular playlist and you can watch all of this episode and the time you are watching this particular episode like day 8 all of this part 8 like part 10 of this jupiter notebook threat hunt is already live so you can go to my channel and you can watch all of this episode now what is the agenda that um, i have created other playlist as a separated playlist and i have uh, put down 10 different parts that's because i thought like if i want to make um jupiter notebook episode in a single episode it could be a bigger one okay and i wanted you guys you guys can learn what is jupiter uh what the hell that we are uh why we use basically jupiter in threat hunt and the other aspect of it so i made a new playlist so that is the overall agenda and if i want to show you like what is jupiter okay so let me take you to the screen so jupiter is a project guys so uh, currently we most of the time we use jupiter lab because uh, that's uh, uh, abbreviated and current version of jupiter notebook and it's a open software okay it's a free software open standard and web services for interaction uh, with different other coding language right you can use python you can use apache you can use uh, uh, spark you can use c sharp uh, c plus plus you can use even she sharp and whatnot okay so it's quite simple okay so you can try it on your browser you can use like install jupyter lab on your windows machine but but do not worry too much about like installation how to get your jupyter lab up and running because all of those things i have already covered in part one of those 10 episodes of jupiter notebook threat hunt episodes guys okay threat hunt series basically and what actually we have covered so in today's episode like uh day eight of threat hunt so i wanted to uh play um total outcome uh what you gonna learn from that uh, 10 episodes uh since i am publishing the, all those 10 episodes in a single shot um so i just wanted to come in this particular day eight and i wanted to uh, show you guys what actually i'm gonna do with that uh, uh episode okay so now this is interesting so this is uh the the mitre navigator okay and what i have done i have curated those 10 uh, parts and i have shown each and every steps of kill chain or you can may uh, call it la mitre navigator whatever is color coded you will be able to hunt on those tactics and those techniques for example if we talk about execution so i have a jupyter notebook threat hunt episode which is covering uh, command scripting interpreter of powershell okay i have another episode which is covering system service and service execution okay so these are all of the color coded so basically we are targeting execution persistence privilege escalation defense evasion credential access discovery lateral movement all of those techniques and all of these highlighted tactics in our threat hunt episodes okay so now that is the interesting part guys so uh why we use even jupiter okay so that is the main point okay so jupiter is a platform that is like code independent platform and you can um you know like a uh, code independently okay and line by line wise you can code you can automate your threat hunt uh, and basically you can operationalize it okay so if you if we talk about um, any particular um, hypothesis okay so let's talk about command uh, scripting interpreter what even that mean guys right so now if you want to hunt for any malicious powershell execution there could be different techniques 
tactics or techniques by which you are playing um, your uh, full automation role right full hunting playbook okay so now using jupiter you can easily codify all those techniques uh, like when we talk about anything like data science uh, identification of anomaly behavior um, maybe outliner detection maybe forestry detection and all those heavy terms on data science so i'm not going to cover all of them because uh, that's that might be too much for you but yeah stay tuned on this particular threat hunt episode because we are going to see how jupiter notebook can be uh, we can use jupiter notebook for threat hunt while we will target anomaly detection using machine learning okay so that that's still coming up okay but today's episode in day 8 and specifically on those 10 different episodes of jupiter notebook uh threat hunt using jupiter notebook you are gonna learn basics 101 level how to install jupiter how to use jupiter why it is important and how basically you can hunt okay so all those tactics and techniques that i have just shown you now each and every tactic and techniques has defined in one particular episode okay so there are 10 episodes i will encourage you while you are watching this one you can continue watching this because i am gonna end it pretty short and uh, just jump into that particular playlist okay so i believe it will take you around maybe 30 to 40 minutes time to complete the overall playlist but the outcome is huge okay so you are gonna learn how to operationalize uh, jupiter uh, threat hunt using jupiter notebook and different aspect of threat hunting okay so uh all of those you can even share with your peers um, you can collaborate with your peers and you can basically see how easily you can codify your uh, threat hunt process and you can go with it okay so yeah so that pretty much it so i don't want to waste any further time um, uh, talking about all those nonsense and all those kind of stuffs uh, jump right away to that particular playlist and let me know if you guys have any query any feedback for me um if you guys are enjoying that particular series and also please give a like don't forget to subscribe black pearl and please 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 share all of these uh, information with your peers okay because it's absolutely free okay so i don't even know like if someone else is there who is um sharing all of those information in a single channel like uh incident response threat hunt security engineering sim but in black pearl you are getting everything so why not to put the subscribe button right yeah and click the bell icon as well so that i as I, as soon as i upload a new video you get notification that hey there is a new video let's watch that right so yeah go enjoy that particular series and let me know how you guys feel about it i'll catch you guys next time stay healthy stay safe